Hello, in this video I would like to uh, show and discuss my uh, air cleaning system uh, which is a bit different than what you've seen in other workshops and studios and stuff like that. So let me start by uh, taking this down and I can show you what this does. So this is the my air cleaning unit uh, and it looks like this right now. So it works like this. I have three different things I want my air filtration system to do. If I'm in the shop and it's winter outside and it's cold then I want the filter to clean the air in the or clean the air inside the shop so taking the air in here and pushing it out through this filter right here and back into the studio uh, but if I'm doing something toxic that I don't want to the air to bring back in uh, into the the uh, studio then this one is able to turn like this and then it takes the air and pushes it out I'll show you in a bit to out through my ventilation uh, shaft to the outside uh, and then there's no filter but also in the summer <coughs> when it's warm outside and I want to have clean air in I also want this to be able to turn like this taking air from the outside in through the filter to get rid of pollen and dust from the air outside uh, out and into the compartment studio <coughs> what I haven't implemented yet is a uh, servo that will so I can control this uh, with an Arduino uh, just to turn it like this and that is basically just a servo with three with a 90 degree swivel so going from say this is the zero position and then we have 45 degrees there and 90 degrees there and that is it so this is a bit special uh, but these it's because I have these special uh, requirements it's also a lot of dampening material in here and that is just to keep the noise down it's a bit it's still I can still hear it but it is a bit better with all this dampening in there and here you see the hole where the air from the outside or the air goes in or out from the outside uh, the reason you only see half the hole is because the other half is up in the roof as I lower that uh, with about 10 centimeters so the next 10 minutes is the build sequence uh, for building this the whole process so this is where I use the giant compass that I did in a previous video uh, and uh, here you can see the whole process of building this so it technically is just a lot of OSB and uh, glue I had to glue quite a, a lot with the hot glue gun to get things in place uh, not too many screws but a few of those too of course this beginning of the video is mainly me trying to figure out how to build this how much space I need for the plate in the middle that's supposed to rotate and how the vents and filters should be placed for, for it to work so here's the middle plate where the fan is going to be mounted and that had to be figured out so it was small enough uh, to fit in a small box but also big enough to to fit the fan 
and here we're making the channel that the, we're gonna push the air through and this of course needs to be as tight as possible so so you don't get back draft in the in the circulation and a lot of gluing is what the OSB and gluing that's what I used in this build most of the time so there's my sketch how it should look and so again trying to figure out how to play stuff And now we're building up the, mo the walls of the compartments and everything to make sure that no matter how it is positioned of the three positions, uh, it should uh, stop the air from, from go going back again, back draft. My filter, it was, the filter was too big, so I actually did this so it would fit exactly in one half of those filters. That way I have one when this one is full of dirt. And then we connect it up there, adding so the air won't go up, up back up in the roof when I put that up there. So the air will only go out or in through the filter. And adding a shelf to place it on and putting it in place. And that's it. So the last thing I did now when I put it back in was that instead of the servo for the Arduino for now I just added a lever so I can switch between in through out uh, which I've done like this before and still need to do a bit longer because the glue hasn't uh, set, uh, set on that lever yet so but hopefully that will work um, so this is on when I am in the shop and it's not super quiet uh, it is not uh, but it's not that powerful either so it doesn't make that much noise but I actually have one of these uh, noise testers that I bought a while back that I haven't tried but maybe we can try it for this to see uh, the difference uh, in noise so I'm standing kind of in the middle of the studio right now and I'm less than one and a half meters away from the fan uh, so let's start by uh, just see how much background noise it is without that one and then we'll turn it on. So 
let's say background noise is around 37 decibels right now there is three computers uh, on that is almost always on over uh, at the computer workspace so uh, let's turn it on and see what that does So it went up to 40, 41, something like that. Um, and I don't know how well the camera picks this up, but it's noticeable, but it's workable. You can still be in here and have that on, especially if you have music on in the background and stuff like that. So anyway, that's my, what I think is a little bit different. Uh, air cleaning solution um, that works for me hope you got some ideas out of this and thank you everyone who, for watching and thank you especially to my patreons uh, who support me in all my uh, strange endeavors uh, also this one I guess uh, so uh, and you can also become a patreon of course and until next time take care Bye.